Guys, it's the last day. But before we start the vlog, a recipe for how to make this steaming bowl of loveliness, or egg fried rice. Boil some water, then add 50 grams of rice and one diced carrot. Leave to boil for about 10 minutes. Drain the rice and add it to a very hot frying pan. Crack in an egg or two, I had two here, it was maybe a bit eggy but it was okay, and stir. When the eggs are cooked to your liking, remove the pan from the heat and pile into a bowl. Add as much soy sauce as you can afford and enjoy. By the time you watch this, my Live Below the Line challenge will be finished. Today, I have eaten a 49 pence ready noodle meal thingy from Morrison's, which was not very nice, and then a 50 pence portion of egg fried rice with carrot. This is kind of what I've been thinking throughout the whole day. Just woke up, 7am, and all I can think is one more day. Hungry, 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 hungry. Hungry, 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 cute baby. Hungry, 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 worky, worky, hungry, hungry, worky, worky, hungry, hungry, worky, hungry. Yes, yes, lunch, feed me. Oh, 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 that's gross. That is gross. May have been gross, but I don't feel hungry anymore, so that's good. Oh, spoke too soon. Hungry, 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 hungry. Home, food soon. Not long, not long till you can eat. When I get home, I'm gonna eat everything. I do not know if I can last. How arrested do you think I would get if I stole that woman's cereal bar? I'm betting fairly, but is it worth it? Oh, I'm home and I'm so tired. I just want to sleep. I'm so hungry, but I genuinely feel too weak to eat. Oh, I just want this to be over. I asked you to vote on what I was going to eat to celebrate, you know, not having to live below the line anymore. And the answer is Ben and Jerry, so I've got a tip of half-baked waiting for me. And by the time you watch this, I will be eating freely again. This week, I have eaten and drunk for less than five pounds. This meant changing recipes to make sure that they didn't have anything expensive and therefore nice in them. This meant having tiny portions of food. This meant not being able to take part in the celebrations that other people I knew and loved were having. This meant not having a social life. This meant not drinking coffee or Diet Coke or squash. I only drank water. This meant not eating breakfast all week. This meant feeling weak with hunger having weird cramps all over my body, headaches and a loss of concentration. This meant my brain was not my own for a whole week. This meant weighing and counting everything. This meant going hungry. This meant waking up to my stomach grumbling loudly. But more than anything else, this has meant that I realise how deeply, deeply lucky I am. Living below the line sucks. It really sucks. And it's so tremendously unfair that there are 20% of the world's population living like this because I wouldn't wish this on anyone. If you haven't already, please donate. The link is in the description. You can make a difference to someone's life. You can stop one fifth of the world's population going through this. Thank you and goodbye. It's midnight. Still midnight. Still midnight. Still. One minute past. <sighs> I'm getting in. That would be a cool trick. I've been looking forward to this all day and now I can't get in. Desperate times call for desperate measures. I cannot even begin to tell you how good that is. And look, coffee. I mean, decaf coffee, because it's five past midnight, but still. <sighs>